getting Daisy tools ready. Now, the most important tool we use is the Steam-based Daisy tool application. It contains all the programs mentioned in the first tutorial series in Introduction to Modding. It is free and will be available to you via the Steam app that you already have installed on your PC. To install Daisy tools, you will need to click on Steam, click on the library, tick tools, find Daisy tools and click on it and then click install. After the download is finished, Daisy tools are now installed and ready to set up for future usage. On your desktop, you should have an icon. Now the fun begins. Let's get things set up correctly. An overview of Daisy tools. Please take your time and watch this video through as some steps may seem pointless, but if they're not followed to the word, will cause major headaches for you. Slow down and follow along. You can follow along and pause the video if you feel the need, or just wait until the end of this lesson and have a toy with it yourself. Let's begin by having a look at the Daisy Tools menu, so you can become familiar with some of the not so obvious features and settings. To start, click on the icon, most likely on your desktop, and the tools box will appear just like this. As we can see, it's divided into two sections, tools and utilities. As we briefly went over these in previous series, Introduction and Modding, we won't waste too much time explaining it all in detail, as you will learn these tools as you progress through the course. Now, along the top is four main menu options, file, view, setting, and tools. File will simply hide the tools in the taskbar and quit, it will close it completely. Now, view will give you the following options. Tools will take you directly to the tools bin directory, and it's handy for adding some custom items later. Work drive will open the directory on your documents, daisy projects, where everything is stored. Game directory will open the actual game exe and mod folder location on your PC. Tools log. Now, this will show you a log of what is happening inside daisy. Now, tools, and it is handy for when things go wrong or they just crash. Game logs, they're very similar to the tools log and help sometimes to pinpoint game issues. Both these logs are very handy for mappers and modders. Clicking on the settings menu will give you two important tabs which define the location of A, the path to the project folder, B, the path to your game directory, and C, automatic startup tools, yes or no. These should usually be ticked with the default. Unless you have a special install, I would just keep it as it is. Automatic mount is handy each time you start Windows, it will be loaded as a P drive. And the launcher tab will provide two handy options. A, run on startup, and B, start minimized to the tray. I personally like to run on startup, but it's your preference as to what you choose to do. The last menu item is the Tools tab. It has the following options. Mount, dismount, drive P. It toggles the drive. Extract game data. Don't click this yet. We will have uh, a much better method shortly. Don't worry if you have done this previously, we can override this method. And generate bin makes rules. That's right. It generates a folder in the Tools directory and tells the program how and what to convert files to and from. Open CMD in Tools, opens a DOS-based Windows program for more advanced execution of certain programs. Open CMD in WorkDrive is very similar to the previous window, but opens the DAISY project folder and it's handy for execution of DOS-based utilities. 
export settings, this will save all your settings on your PC. And it's handy if you're also going to export to another computer. Now, on the last one, on the right side, you'll see the help menu, as well as a suggestion option that will take you to the BI website where you can post a suggestion or ask a question so it can never be answered. <laughs> At the bottom of the tools window is a status indicator. When the tools are installed, WorkDrive is loaded and Workbench is connected, you should have a green tick on each of these. Now, don't worry if it's red on WorkDrive at the moment. We'll solve this issue in the next video. I'll see you soon. Extraction methods. In order to be able to modern day Z, you'll first need to extract some files so that Terrain Builder will be able to function correctly. So now some of you are viewing may already have done this, but hang on, stop. Watch this video as it may save you even more issues in the future as the method I will show is verified by mappers around the world. And really it's the best way to ensure a bug free map making process. So if you noticed in the previous lesson, we mentioned the tab in Daisy tools for extraction, we are not going to use this. Please, there's several reasons. Let me explain. Specific files are missing. Unbinarized roads are not extracted, causing viewing issues inside a bulldozer. Bulldozer is not set up absolutely correctly. And you get this ugly cursor that is hard to use and appears on the standard Daisy tools extract method. To begin, open Daisy tools, click the tools tab and click on mount drive P and click yes when the prompt comes up. You can pause now if you like. This will create a virtual drive called P. By clicking the Windows File Explorer and looking in My Computer, you will note an added P drive appears. Your status in DAISY tools should look like this now. Note there's a uh, green Y next to the work drive. That's good news. Now, we're going to use the best tool out there, which is Mikiro's Tools AIO to extract the files that are required. In the previous lessons, we downloaded and installed Mikiro's, and now we're going to use one of his tools designed to streamline and correct the extraction process. So, look for the icon on your Windows Start menu, or create a shortcut on the desktop for ease of use, so you can use it in future. Also, you can type DAISY 2P in the search box to find it. Now, the extraction method. Simply click on the icon and you will see a box appear. The flashing cursor requires that you extract to a drive. In this case, simply press P and wait patiently until it's all complete. What it's doing is creating a folder in the P drive called DZ and inside that it will create all the necessary files as well as give you unbinarized roads to work with as well as a better cursor and even a map legend in the P drive. When finished, press any key. The window will close and we are extracted and mounted. Pause the video now, go ahead, complete this step and I'll see you soon. Awesome, we're getting closer to the setup. So the main purpose of this section was to show you the proper method to set up, extract and prepare your P drive for future usage. Now, if at any time you have corrupt files in the DZ folder, simply repeat the DAISY to P process mentioned earlier it won't destroy your previous work. Now, as long as you don't store custom files in the DZ folder, don't ever do this. So now you should be able to look at your file explorer, see a new virtual drive called P. It will look something like this. Your files will look different as this is a custom mods and examples on my particular computer. <laughs> 